To try out this reactive Kafka application, you'll first need to have Kafka up and running. To run it on your local machine, you can go through the first two steps of the Kafka Quick Start Guide to start Zookeeper and Kafka. To do this, head to kafka.apache.org slash quickstart. Alternatively, if you want to run Kafka on Kubernetes, we would recommend using something like the Strimzy operator. To check this out, head to strimzy.io. So the first step we're going to do is get Zookeeper and Kafka off and running on our machine. So in the first tab, we're going to start up Zookeeper. Once this is complete, we'll head to a new tab and start up Kafka. Now that we've got Zookeeper and Kafka running on our machine, we can do a git clone of our project and cd into our folder Kafka Java Vertex Data. Once there, we can do a maven package command. If Kafka is not accessible on localhost 1992, or if you have turned security on, you will need to edit the kafka.properties file. Now that maven package is completed, we can do a java-jar command to run our application. Now that our application has successfully started up, we can start testing the Kafka aspect of our application. To do this, we'll head to a new tab. In this case, we're using the WebSocket tool on Terminal to connect to the endpoint localhost 8080 slash demo produce. This will enable us to start sending records to Kafka. We can do this by sending the following message, action colon start. The WebSocket will then receive notifications every time the app sends a new record to Kafka. We can see this happening in live time by connecting to our consume WebSocket endpoint. Here you can see all the records coming in and the new ones coming in as they're created. You now have a reactive application successfully producing to and consuming from Kafka.